Chigger bites are really some of the worst insect bites you can get in Oklahoma this time of year. So how do you prevent them in the first place? OSU Extension Livestock Entomologist Dr. Justin Talley has some answers. As we're coming into the summer season, we're also going to see an increase in chigger populations. And historically, when we have chigger populations, you're always going to know where those areas are, whether it's you've walked through an area and you know that you had chiggers feed on you. But traditionally, if you have any area that you're walking around that has high vegetation, that any has vegetation that can come up to mid thigh to waist area, then it's a likelihood of supporting chigger populations because it's maintaining humidity within that, that vegetative co cover. Some of our common misconceptions of chiggers is that you can suffocate the chig chiggers away by putting different substances on, on your chigger bites. And that's really not true. The, the main thing is a, a chigger mite feeds on you and leaves. It's a non-burrowing mite. It doesn't burrow into your skin like a lot of outlets may share with, but it's essentially what a chigger does is it feeds on you, then leaves, but the bite is what's causing the irritation. And so typical things that can relieve the chigger bites are typical things that you use for any kind of irritation to your skin, such as antihistamines, creams, or anything that can kind of counteract that inflammatory response on your skin, that's gonna be our best thing. But try to avoid putting substances, thinking that you're gonna suffocate these chiggers because they're simply just not there. So when we think about chiggers and where they prefer to feed, think about anywhere that there may be some kind of tight clothing around waistlines and your ankles. So sock lines around your ankles and any kind of waistline, that's where we tend to see more of our ch chigger feeding sites. Again, it's all about the type of vegetation you're walking through. So if you walk through something that's low, that's always in contact with your ankles, check your ankles. But it doesn't prevent them from feeding around your waistline because they can crawl up to your waistline. The other thing is, is you walk through tall vegetation, then more than likely they're going to be around your waistline. Very rarely do we see a lot of chigger bites just in and around the face or neck region uh, unless you simply take a nap in some vegetation then we'll see some chigger bites around those areas but some other misconceptions is that chiggers can transmit some pathogens and they're, they're really a low risk in in when we consider what transmits significant pathogens and chiggers are simply just causing a lot of irritation because of compounds in their saliva that your skin is reacting to